Hey, good morning, kids. How are you this morning? Okay, so this is the Cliff Note version of last night's live stream. Today is Saturday, May 12th, so that was uh, May 11th, day 11 uh, for me on the boat. And uh, day 11, today's day 12, starting day 12. Yeah, May 12th, day 12th. Um, pretty short live stream last night, kept it to an hour, had a lot of fun, a lot of the a lot of good guys there, a lot of new folks on, so it was kind of cool. Uh, we talked about uh, what I got done yesterday. Yesterday was a, uh, a chore day, <clears throat> so we got provisioning done, we got laundry done, all kinds of exciting stuff like that. Um, got all the provisions back on the boat, got everything put away. Lo and behold, I get a phone call from West Marine, and my ladder is here. So... If you know I was supposed to be here yesterday, and then yesterday they told me it wasn't going to be here till next week, lo and behold, it came here today. And to make amends and to be really nice guys, they actually delivered it to the marina last night. So uh, about 6.20 last night, the guy pulls in, and uh, we got the ladder, and we have it on board. So now I can go ahead and start working on getting that installed. So that's, that's some good news. Uh, other than that, we really didn't have much in the way of exciting things to talk about. Uh, it was, like I said, pretty simple. Blew a hooli night before last. Blew a hooli again last night. I mean, we had big winds. Uh, not as big tonight. Last night as it was night before last, but still pretty big winds. It is uh, 49 degrees <laughs> right now on the boat. So it's a little bit chilly. Um, kind of layered up here so I'm, I'm absolutely fine absolutely comfortable i was fine last night i actually had to pull the wool blanket away from miss lily she's got a wool blanket that she uses for her bedding uh which is actually my bedding but she's sort of absconded with it i had to pull that back from her so poor dog had to sleep just on a boat cushion and not sleep on uh the wool blanket last night but sure enough she snuggled up next to me while i was sleeping and got on the wool blanket anyway because you know it's her wool blanket now so <laughs> I think she's a little miffed at me that I took it and covered myself. But it was cold last night on the boat. Now it was cold. Forecast for the next week or so looks like it's going to continue to be cold. Um, we're going to have these really low cold temperatures, lots of wind, lots of rain. Um, I mean, there's nothing in the way of a weather window for getting out of here anyway right now. So um, I'm going to be here in Upper Sandusky. Uh, not in Upper Sandusky. I'm going to be here weird out ohio upper sandusky is actually south of sandusky if you can imagine that i'm here in sandusky on sandusky bay and i'm probably going to be here uh probably at this point maybe on up into the end of the month um there's just not a weather window for getting across this lake and it, it's uh it's a rough old girl trying to get across lake erie in a small boat so uh trying to pick my weather windows uh, mostly motivated by economics <clears throat> i just do not want to get out of here and end up getting caught in some other place where there's some storms and I have to use a marina <clears throat> because you know most of Lake Erie is just mud anchorage anyway and uh, which should be good holding it should be all right but if I have to get into a marina someplace then that's going to be expensive and I don't want the expense of having to do that for any prolonged period of time while I'm along the way so I'm really looking for like a four or five day weather window where I can get all the way across over to um, to Buffalo and then once I'm up there in the Erie Canal, then weather won't be playing nearly as big a role in my moves until I get down into like New York Harbor someplace. So the Erie Canal and the Hudson River, it won't be so predicated upon, you know, wind uh, there. So, because uh, it's just gonna be the current of the canal and current of the river and, and, uh, and me, so. Anyhow, that's kind of it. We're gonna have a short cliff note this morning. That's all that's going on. Nothing really new and exciting. Me and the dog are just fine. Say hello, Miss Lily. Yep, she's got to be up my butt while I do these live streams. Now she's trying to eat my orange. This is my orange. You can't have my orange. <clears throat> Anyhow, guys, we'll have more for you later. Be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll see you later. Bye.